All right, welcome back to my crew universe. Right now it's the go-home show for Class of Champions, where the Beast takes on Samojo for one last time. But for now, we see the Beast in action. singles action. Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to be some good back. Here but as we all know, the briefcase. will walk away with their arm raised. But today is a tough task ahead of them. When he takes on a man who hasn't fought a Monday run a long time. Also called the Beast, Brock. Lesnar. Notice, somewhere right now, Cuppy the Beast, and Paul Heyman not Cuppy Lesnar. It's Beast versus Beast. Brock Lesnar, former World Heavyweight Champion, former WWE Champion. And if you know how Brock Lesnar is, you know he appears every once in a while. And when he does appear, he decimates his opponents. And let's get this match underway. Match up set to get underway, and this is going to be a good one. And from what we understand, Corey, we're going to be joined by a very special guest superstar on Comic-Con. And what's Samoa Joe doing out here? I couldn't be any more excited to get this superstar's point of view on the competition. I'll tell you what, the superstar inside the ring better keep their eyes on their opponent. Yeah, indeed they better, because this is going to be one heck of a matchup. And I wait to hear what this superstar has to say. Tough task for the beast. Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one on one in a good old fashioned. Yeah, this might be a little dated on for the beast. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here. The exact same thing is happening. I can't get over how electric this Honolulu crowd has been ever since these superstars were announced. And so, what are your what thoughts right now stay on Brock Lesnar? Big Red Machine Kane. Familiar with him. What can they anticipate out of him here? If you want spectacle, if you want showmanship, if you want battle, Which I believe that was right before SummerSlam. A wild overhead punch wreaking havoc in here. But I think this is a more aggressive beast than we've ever seen. Here. If there's a finishing move that can end an opponent's existence once and for all, it's the F5 from the Beast Incarnate. The move shows Lesnar's power and true disdain for humanity. Fall, fall away slam backbreaker. Just back and forth between these two. And now he goes for it a second time. Oh, the reversal by Brock Lesnar. He's starting to nice take down. Here, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. The most incredible thing about Brock Lesnar's F5 is no matter who it is, the conqueror lifts up his adversary to the greatest of ease. No one can stop this man. The list of WWE Hall of Famers, legends... As Lesnar with the reversal. ...executives who have been destroyed by the F5 is too long to mention. And it's reversed. Was the beast countering? Espy. There it is. Certainly 
definitely a risky move, Michael. And then Lesnar tapped to go. And Samoa Joe sitting in an invisible chair. Reverses that one. And Beast perhaps looking for the spider suplex. This is move that could possibly break your neck. And could that be it for Lesnar? The damage has been done. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. His shoulders are down. No, a kick out for Brock Lesnar. And you knew that wouldn't be it for the Beast. For the Beast that called Brock Lesnar. No how. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Counters that one. Whoops, not even close. What was he thinking? Look for that backbreaker again. But Brock is feeling it. Good luck to you. Well, the one thing the Beast has to watch out for is Brock Lesnar's suplex city. Fans being a chance, suplex city. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's, wow, but no, letting it happen. He's making a statement here with this attack. <laughs> with a psych out, Larry. He's learning to finish things off again. Lesnar too quick to get off. Meanwhile, Samoa Joe sitting outside in his invisible chair. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Showing very few signs of life here. Swan time. Look at this again, guys. This match might just be over. Can the Beast put away the former world champion? Lesnar kicks out. He misses on that one. Were his eyes even open? Just toying with the competition a little. Fall away slam. Now he's got something working. I think now the beast riled up. Wow, kicking butt and taking names. When this guy's on, look out. And again with a spear. Well, I gotta say that I'm in shock. I really thought Lesnar would look better here tonight. I wonder what's going on. Going on the mind of Samoa Joe as the beast hits a swan top. I gotta say that I'm in shock. I really thought Lesnar would look better here tonight. It could be over here. I think third time's a charm. He may be in the best. No, Lesnar kicks out. He's got no quit in him tonight. Was he ever like him? Oh, he's able to reverse it. Well, man, he's going off here. I don't know if this is by design or if he just lost his mind. Nice Susita. Not off these seem to do a springboard move. Beating he's taken here tonight. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. He's gonna look for a psycho lariat. What a close line! Ouch! That should do it. I get it. It's a cool move. 
But again, really? And using the ropes. That was Lesnar Wade. Give me a second, Eddie B is necessary. Give me Lesnar and Samoa Joe from behind. Yeah, these two despise each other. He is not going to be denied, even if it is the middle of the match. He's taking a long time to get up. Small Joe thing here. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Yeah, Samoa Joe floating. What an amazing move. I don't know what it is with Samoa Joe. The to oh, he's one step ahead on that one. Smoke into the turnbuckle. For a second time. I know he doesn't have any clue, but now might be one of those times where you take the loss and live to fight another day. Yeah, I don't know what Smojo was thinking there. Just taught it right in the beast face. Episode. So, how's the class of champions? If the blue feud between the beast and Mojo ends, and yeah, that's what I gotta say.